Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Romedia. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and jump into the episode. Uh, obviously, uh, the Germans are looking pretty weak. We talked about this at the end of the last episode, uh, that we've killed so many of their, their troops. Uh, millions and millions of the troops have been lost just over the last few months, and uh, I think they're finally starting to have equipment issues with certain types of equipment. Infantry equipment is probably good um, from what it looks like here, but maybe like uh, definitely tanks they seem to be having an issue with. Uh, probably artillery as well, maybe anti-tanks or whatever is all in their division designs. I guess we could just hover over them and see what they got. Uh, yeah, I assume artillery um, and maybe anti-air. Uh, doesn't look like they have any anti-tanks in these, so... Uh, definitely artillery, I think, is, is running a little bit low. And so they're doing so bad now that I think it's about time to launch an offensive. Look at the Italians. They're doing even worse. Uh, so let's go ahead and start preparing for that, guys. This is what we're going to do here uh, in the beginning of this episode. Uh, we will start by doing a few things with the Russians. Now, the reason why I haven't pulled troops completely off the Russian fronts to, you know, to not defend it is because eventually we'll want to pull the Russians in. Well, there's two reasons. One, we'll eventually want to pull the Russians in against the Japanese so that we'll have uh, territory to fight them from. Uh, because, I mean, we might try and just do a, a naval invasion. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, but eventually we'll probably pull them in here, and I don't want to have to bring all the troops back over here. Uh, so that's one reason. Second is, of course, we probably have supply problems if we brought all these Russian troops over to where we really need more divisions. And then uh, I guess the, the, the final reason, of course, is because if... I didn't know that this was going to, to work. Uh, they could have very well have defeated us here if they had more manpower and equipment. I think they're running low on that, uh, particularly the equipment. And so they could have very well have pushed us back here. And if they did, if I was in a position where I was going to lose, I was going to use the Russians as kind of like a, a last resort emergency measure where we'd pull them in and then, you know, just hopefully that would result in the Germans like pumping troops over here to invade this way. And it might just be enough to save us. I don't know. Of course, that's looking less and less like uh, it'll be necessary. But at the time, I didn't really know for sure. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and get some stuff done. Uh, so we want to start out by creating a new division design. We're going to just duplicate this one here and uh, change these guys over to modern tanks, all modern stuff. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go with modern tanks. Oops, all the way across here. Oops, god damn it. Uh, where the hell is this? Modern tanks. So we're going to be switching all these over the modern tanks and their uh, modern self-propelled artillery and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, so we'll be able to get one of these divisions building. Uh, we've got mechanized. Let's do the modern self-propelled artillery. Uh, obviously, we didn't build quite a, you know very much equipment for this, so I don't actually know. Are these self-propelled artillery? They are. Okay. Uh, did we not do the modern uh, tank destroyers? We must not have. All right, well, we'll probably change one of these over then. Maybe it was already, maybe one of these was, was it? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, we'll go over to the uh, modern tank destroyers as well. And organization's looking decent. Maybe we'll go ahead and go up to two modern tank destroyers here and see how that looks. Yeah, this looks uh, pretty squared away. I don't think we need to make any adjustments here. Nah, we're, we're pretty much good here. Uh, we could change out the anti-tank since we have these here uh, and change it over to artillery. We just want to look at what that does for the stats. Uh, obviously, our piercing would go down a little bit, as would our heart attack, as you'd expect. Uh, but our breakthrough, our defense, and our soft attack all go up. And I think since they're running out of tanks, I think this would be wise. So let's go and switch over to that. We could also give them an anti-air, though. Uh, I forgot we didn't have any anti-air here. Maybe we'd want to do that, since they still have control of the skies. You know what? Let's do that instead. We'll change over to anti-air. All right, so this is going to be... And I'll have to turn the WASD keys back on. Let's call them modern tanks for now. We do need a name for them, though. Let's go ahead and save that. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and start constructing these. Uh, let's see what we are what we have here. All right, we'll go ahead and do, like, uh, two of these. Obviously, we don't have, we don't have any tanks, so... Uh, do we want to throw these guys straight in here? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, oh, they must not have a task because this is not working. Yeah, we must not have set them on a garrison duty just yet, so let's go ahead and do that. And uh, that allow us to place all these training guys into there. Okay, beautiful. So that'll allow us to get some more uh, you know, uh, units to kind of help us out here. We can also take units from the Russians, though, so let's go ahead and start with that. Um, we're going to take these ones that are finished up training here. 
And they're gonna now cover here, because this is... Yeah, they're not gonna be able to push forward here. I'm not even worried about it at all. Uh, in fact, we won't even give them this many. We'll just give them three. I think that'll be enough. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do... Oh, we should probably give them... Never mind. God damn. <laughs> I messed this up. We need to give them their own army, don't we? Alright, and then to go ahead and just give them some icons or whatever. It doesn't really matter. We'll just do this orange one here. And yeah, they can be the shield. It's fine. Alright. And then just give them a little quick order. And so they'll make their way over here. Uh, in the meantime, while we're waiting for them, we're going to go ahead and take one of these guys and send him over to here. Alright, looking great. And... Uh, yeah, we'll bring those troops, and we also had one more, uh, actually two more. Uh, let's go and get these guys moving now. Uh, we're going to move uh, one, of them, one of them over to this army, help us push forward here, which we're about to start in a minute, and we'll bring this guy over here as well. All right, fantastic. All right, so they'll make their way. This will probably be done by then, though, and uh, we're going to go ahead and make a few adjustments to the fronts as well. So the blue army, we're going to go ahead and move them to help cover this here. So they'll start moving over there, and that's how we're going to start this. And they may win there. I don't know. Uh, again, it's fine if they do. We'll just pull back. We already kind of were planning that they would they would win there. And National Spain actually joined the Axis. Okay, so that finally expired because it's 1946. So now they're going to get pulled into the conflict. This is another damn country we got to worry about. All right. Uh, so I don't know why they... They join them, I guess, because, you know, from their perspective, they probably still look like the, the Axis are winning. I just want to take these guys, put them into this army. They don't need to train up. That was unnecessary. All right. But, yeah, I, I suppose from their perspective, the Axis look like they're winning. And, of course, they got pulled into conflict. How does that affect things? Um, Gibraltar. We'll lose Gibraltar. Okay, so that's kind of big. Also, uh, here, you know, where the Allies weren't prepared for this. Uh, so that's a problem as well. All right. That's not good. So they, they get that modifier uh, that stops them from joining into the conflict when you have the historical focuses on. I'm a little bit surprised that we're losing here. Interesting. Has he not been placed here? Let's go and get moving. Yeah, we're losing here. Okay. Losing there as well, but it looks like it's going into our favor. We want to make sure we don't get cut off here, so we might have to back up. Uh, and we will do that. And we got kicked from the faction again. Are you fucking serious, man? Oh, Lord. All right. Well, you know what? It doesn't look like... Our units got pulled. I was thinking our units got pulled. Oh, they did. Yep, they got pulled. If we uh, get removed from the faction or join a faction, we lose control of the units. <sighs> Fuck, so I got to do this all over again. I don't know why they uh, keep kicking us out of the faction. I don't know if it's like our high fascist support or, or the, the high uh, amount of world tension we've, uh, we've done. I'm not entirely sure, but you know what, guys? I am going to not join their faction. Screw them. I'm so tired of this. And they're going to keep on kicking us out. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a continued issue. So now I have to request the forces again. Good God, guys. This is frustrating. <laughs> and i got to redo all of this. Uh, again, everything that we did, uh, I have to do over again. Uh, so that's lovely. Yeah, just really, really frustrating, guys. I'm, like, so sick of this. Um, how many times have we done it now? This is, what, three times? Uh, this is just absolutely ridiculous, guys. I just don't... Uh, I don't know why that's a mechanic, uh, but for future reference in like uh, future campaigns or whatever you want to say, uh, we are not going to be doing it this way again. Uh, I am done. I'm so done with this. Uh, and I need to figure out where all these units are. Yeah, but I'm not going to be pulling. Uh, I don't know. We're just going to do it differently. I'm not going to let this issue happen again. Cause it's just uh, it's too frustrating, man. Did we have ten divisions assigned to this? I don't even know. Uh, no, 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 no. Clearly these guys have been placed wrong. They're supposed to go into that army. Okay. All right, so fix that. This was uh, the one unit that was training here. Um, so let's go and put them over here and get them training again. All right, get these guys trained. I think that was the only unit that we had uh, that was training. Uh, so, yeah, it just sucks that we have to keep doing this uh, because it's like... I don't know, it takes about a good 10 minutes or so, uh, the episode, and, uh, you know, I only have so much time to record, so, I mean, I could cut it, I suppose, but then the video would be shorter. You know what, that's what I'm going to do, because I'm so irritated, and I'm just going to talk about how irritated I am this entire time, because <laughs> I'm so so sick of doing this, man. Uh, but yeah, for future reference, guys, uh, I would not be, um, yeah, I'm not going to be make, making use of any units, uh, unless I plan on pulling them in. I'm never doing this again, guys, it's such a, so disastrous. I know that normal normally we won't be 
joining and, and leaving a faction over and over again. Uh, that's just happening, a unique thing with this campaign, but even doing it once, uh, it's frustrating. All right, guys, took about eight minutes or so, uh, so might be a, a little bit shorter episode. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, ask for military access from the British so we can cover this territory at least so we don't have the exile divisions here. Uh, see what else we need to, to do to kind of account for. I think we're having resource issues. Um, okay, I don't really want to trade anymore with the, the Russians. We'll just trade with... How short are we? Oh, we're like really short. How are we doing on that? Is this like going to be a problem? Um, yeah, this is a problem. This is why I don't trade with, with puppets. You just have to constantly build in their shit if you export resources from them. And so, yeah, this is an issue. We're going to have them, you know, trying to, uh, you know, move up to the puppet uh, status here soon. So we can lend some equipment to, to tick that down some again. But yeah, we're already trading for too much equipment from them as it is. Uh, frankly, we're going to need to pull back on our, our production again on a lot of stuff. So we're not using as much steel because yeah, we just can't afford to, to keep trading for this. Uh, we do need artillery though, unfortunately, because I think we're short on artillery. Let me see if there's anything else that we're really short on. I think that's it. I think that's the only thing we're, we're really having issues with. Uh, with the rest of this, we can just pull it back. Um, you know, we're stacked on motorized, so we don't need to pull, you know, trade for as much as that. Uh, in fact, we can go and pull this back quite a bit. Uh, and go ahead and leave everything else as is, I suppose. Uh, mechanized, we're actually pretty stacked on that too, so we're gonna pull back on that. Uh, we do need some mechanized for these modern tanks, so we'll keep a few into that. Uh, let's see if there's anything else we can pull back from yeah, probably pull back on the medium tanks and the medium stuff as well. Yeah, let's go and pull this back a bit. And uh, I think that's good. Still going to have to keep a lot of production in our planes, of course, as you'd expect. And uh, that should allow us to, like, pull back on... We won't need to trade with the Russians as much. And then also, you know, we don't have to worry about rubber anymore either. All right, so that should help. Uh, and we will need to give them a lend lease now. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. Start a lend lease, and we'll just give them some excess equipment. We have a ton of support equipment, so let's just give them like five thousand. That'll, you know, impact it quite a bit. Just do it one time there. And uh, what else are we like really stacked on? I guess we can give them a little bit of mechanized. I don't want to give them too much, since we are uh, using that. And that should get them down a bit. We can always give them a little bit more later. Uh, so that's good for now. Oh, man. Yeah, this episode's not going the way <laughs> I would have liked. I thought we were going to be able to do this offensive. Instead, I'm over here messing with the same crap that we've been messing with this entire campaign, guys. Uh, and Gibraltar has fallen, as we'd expect. Uh, so let's go ahead and now pull back uh, the red tanks here. Uh, so they don't need to cover this territory anymore. We're just going to focus on the offensive here. Yeah, they're only going to be over here because we're going to launch that offense against the uh, the uh, Italians. And hopefully we'll have enough divisions here covering all this territory. We just have to see. Uh, I don't know. It looks like there might not be enough. And uh, no, I'm not going to join your faction. You keep kicking me out. Good <laughs> God, man. Yeah, I don't know why the AI is uh, doing that while they're kind of registering it that way. Uh, so what we're going to want to do... Well, we got to wait till we get more troops here. But we're going to be pulling this Red Army back so that they can kind of focus on covering here a bit more. And yeah, we might be able to hold that there. Uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to take it. What I'm going to do is go ahead and build that up because this is actually a better place. The reason why we didn't build here before is because we didn't own it. Um, this is actually a much better location uh, for a fort because, yeah, this would mean we wouldn't have to defend these two. So it shortens the front a bit, uh, which is helpful when you don't have a lot of units. All right. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to let all of our units kind of move around and, and make some adjustments here. They're going to keep on attacking this way, which is super silly as we put more troops over there. Uh, not wise on their part, but we're also going to go ahead and, and uh, bring the blue army back this way now. They're not going to cover that province anymore. Uh, it seems that we actually have an extra uh, army here, extra unit. Um, okay, this guy is here. I think he's supposed to be in the red army. I think I misassigned him when I was reassigning divisions and stuff, so that was my bad. All right, so just getting where we have at least two divisions in every province, it looks like, and they're going to be moving out of here as well, uh, so we don't need to cover that uh, province any longer. And, oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to accept all the non-aggression packs. Uh, we'll go ahead and accept them, although, man, there are, there's a lot of them. 
It's pretty much the entire allied faction here wants us to uh, sign a non-aggression pact, and we will. And this should stop them from bugging us. And we'll just get the little messages from uh, the British about joining the faction, which again, we're just gonna turn down. I'm so done with them. <sighs> Screw the British, man. It caused us nothing but issues. Now again, we won't be able to build those while they're attacking us, but that's okay. Uh, that is fine. I'm actually considering stretching the line since we are going to try and hold it. Let's go and stretch the line. And uh, let me just see if we want to... I do want to keep these guys entrenched here just in case we lose that. So it's fine. Alright. Uh, and yeah, we're covering all this as well. So yeah, looking pretty good, guys. And uh, what is this? Ask for military... Okay, I accept. Uh, so we'll just have to do it that way. And then we have the war bonds that we can do. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let's take a look at the situation over here. Sunk some more convoys. Okay. Um, and yeah, we can't see what the allies are doing anymore either, so that's one penalty. Uh, there's really nothing to be done about it, guys. I think we're going to continue to have issues with it. Uh, so we're still waiting for troops to get over here. Um, yeah, I'm waiting for our organization to get up as well and uh, get the planning bonuses back up, and then we'll be launching an attack over there. Let's take a look at the air situation and see if there's anything I need to be aware of. Uh, it does look like we control the skies everywhere except for here, so what we could do is go ahead and this is where we want to attack, so it would be wise to go ahead and put some more fighters over here, if we have them. I don't actually know that we do. I know we deleted those fighter wings. Yeah, it doesn't look like we are... Yeah, I don't think we have enough fighters. Unfortunately, those are all old ones. So instead, let's move our planes from somewhere else where we don't need as many uh, like right here, that's what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and move a fighter wing from over here and bring them to the Alpine region. And let's go ahead and prioritize that as well. And we might need to deprioritize a region. I'm trying to think of where, uh, since we have no command power. I don't know which all regions. Okay, we have them in these two here. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think we need them there anymore. Let's go and pull it back. On both of those. We'll see if that affects anything as far as efficiency. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. All right. So they're going to continue attacking there, and yeah, they can't beat us there now. Uh, so we might be able to launch. No, nah, we're not going to launch offensive air. They still have too many divisions uh, overall. Okay. And uh, we still have the troops up along here as well. But they do not seem to be able to win here. Uh, we are actually winning on our attack there. I'm going to let them continue it since. Looks like we've we've won there. Uh, so we have two divisions here. Let's go ahead and take these guys and now uh, move them back over, to, move them over to this front, I should say. And then we'll be extending this front, though. I yeah, we'll be extending here in a little bit uh, once we get those divisions over here. Uh, they're attacking us here. Okay, I didn't think they would they'd be able to win here, but all right, we'll just keep it going. We'll see what happens there. Uh, let's go and get the uh, invasion plan here. Our drop, our pair drop. We're gonna do the pair drop. Um, they might actually have a unit there. Could go and attack into Milan. Let's attack right here, just into the random mountain province, and then just kind of spread out from here. And then we'll also go ahead and set these guys to uh, train up to get that experience back up. It looks like they lost a little bit of experience. I'm not entirely sure how that happened. All right. Uh, so almost got all the troops over here, so we can launch that offensive. Uh, we need to get those paratroopers done with their training as well. Uh, which shouldn't take them very long so that we can drop them right away and then we'll have to let their organization get back up and all that good stuff Yeah, they're not gonna be able to win here now guys And uh, but we're not we're not building the forts either as long as that happens. Did we even get one done? Yeah, we got one done uh, Since we do build fairly quick and uh, yeah, we're gonna continue signing those non-aggression packs But we can probably take the troops that are here and let's go ahead and, and get them over to here and just delete this. I don't think this will be needed anymore. I don't think they're going to break through there, guys. I think we got it. Alright, so we can also pull back here. Let those Red Army troops move. Alright. Yeah, just making some some uh, improvements, some adjustments, changing a few things up. And yet, I, I don't know, guys. It keeps on uh, flipping back and forth. I don't know if they'll be able to get through there or not. Uh, we currently have uh, five divisions assigned here. It's The tank division is one they don't seem to be able to to defeat there and I, I wonder if we could push forward here at all these guys look like really weak yeah we could probably push the front forward some so 
what we're gonna do is just have him support that then. Yeah, we'll just push forward there, I guess. Yeah, I think we'll be able to start launching offensives now. I, I just don't think that they are strong enough. Yeah, they're pretty weak, man. I think we got this, guys. I think it's the end end of the Germans. All right, so I'm ready to go ahead and... Oh, wait, 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 let me stop that. We still gotta get this done, Never mind. We'll finish these guys up and then we'll do the offensive. Uh, so it shouldn't take them too long to get trained here. And uh, then we'll have to stop the training and let them get the organization back up before we actually drop them. And we don't control the skies here, so that could be a problem. Uh, we might need to put a lot more fighters before we're gonna be able to do an airdrop, actually. Come on, man, you're almost done. Just waiting for this guy here. Uh, so, any day, he should get it. Wow, this is taking way longer for him to get that little bit of experience than I thought it was. There we go. All right, so let's go and wait here. Let's take a look at the skies, and we'll probably have to sign, again, more planes over to here. Uh, oh, I must have taken a close air support. My bad, guys. I didn't mean to take a close, close air support. Uh, all right. Um, oh, yep, that's exactly what I did. All right, so let's go ahead and move him, put him back here. I don't know what I was doing, guys. I thought I had a, a fighter. Apparently not. All right, so let's go ahead and put the fighters over here. And uh, we'll also get another air wing of fighters from like right here. I'm just trying to see a good spot. And we'll take these guys and move them over to here. And just seeing if there's any other locations. I feel like we can move like one of these fighter wings off. Move him over here as well. And see if that's enough for us to seize control of the skies there. Probably not, they probably have a lot of planes here. So we might not be able to drop the paratroopers. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have very good odds here, actually. All right, well, let's just go ahead and start attacking. We'll see what happens. All right, so yeah, we should be able to win through there. That looks good. You know what, I'm not even gonna cover this. We're just gonna have all the Red Army used here. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna start attacking in Northern Italy. It does look like the invasions have mostly failed, but they are still here and distracting the Italians. Uh, we were able to push forward here already, so let's go ahead and start attacking that away. Uh, and then the rest of these, well then, let me see, I'm trying to figure out who hasn't attacked yet. And uh, this guy here. All right, so they'll attack into Venice. And you guys are gonna come, okay, they're already coming, awesome. So hopefully this offensive works out. Uh, just taking a look at this, this is our kind of a weak spot here and it does look like it is now fully covered and they're not gonna be able to get through there. Uh, as far as like getting the forts done though, that's gonna take forever. It looks like we're not actually building anything right now, so let's go ahead and continue. Uh, just kind of locking down our fortifications along here. Again, level three forts is just not uh, very high. Uh, so might wanna improve that some, just looking for other areas. Uh, I think we're pretty good everywhere. Uh, so let's go ahead and just uh, get these ones up to like, you know what, we could actually build across this side. Now this may be completely unnecessary. You know what, we'll also build here when they're not attacking as well. So that probably won't build very often. Uh, but yeah, let's just go and build down here and it looks like we actually missed one there. And uh, just get all these up to, to level four here. All right, and we'll get over here as well. And that's looking pretty good for right now. Oh yes, we need to Tick all this stuff down to the bottom though. All right, excellent. So we're starting to get our fuel back up. Uh, that's no longer as much of an issue. And uh, that's very good since obviously our tanks here are gonna be consuming a lot while on the offensive. All right, let's go and race on over there and just take a couple of these guys, take them and have them attack as well. And then these two will support that attack. It's, it does seem we're having some issues getting it done. They're attacking into mountains, but I don't care. Uh, the invasion in Livorno is still uh, going, but the Gen Genoa one looks like it's over with failure. All right, I just don't think they're gonna be able to stop this offensive, guys. I just feel like they're just too weak at this point uh, to stop this. I'm just looking across the rest of our front, making sure everything looks good here. Yeah, everything looks great. Let's go and dip over here. It does look like we're about to lose there, which I don't think there's any way to stop that. But that's okay. We have the ships here to stop them from crossing here. Uh, that's you know happening as we would expect it to. We are still winning there. Um, what we'll do is let's just help out here. Um, I don't know if that's going to be enough. But yeah, they're still attacking across this entire front. Uh, it does seem like we did lose here. Let's just go ahead and take these guys and put them over, let's just get rid of this whole thing and, and put them over to this front now. We are done with this. 
Alright, so that looks great. Uh, so they'll come over here, the yellow army will come down here and help us out. And, uh, yeah, the rest of this looks great. I just give up any, uh, extra provinces there. Don't really care about it, we're just gonna sit on the defense over there as we push forward into Italy. Uh, so, we're not gonna attack across the river if we can avoid it. Let's go and take this guy and have him, these guys, attack this way. It does look like we are failing here, unfortunately. Um, let's take a couple divisions and have them kinda help out. Yeah, we're just not having a lot of success there. It's because of the mountains. Uh, a little bit rough area for us to attack. I, I don't know if we can drop these paratroopers, guys. We'll try. Um, but yeah, we don't have... We can't do it. We don't have the 70% that we need here. Alright, so that's unfortunate. We, what we could do is drop them there instead, though. That one's probably protected. But it would be nice to drop them here and just kind of cut off right across this way. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and drop them there, and uh, that allows us to move the uh, transports that we have out of here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, change up their their drop order. And since they're, you don't need to plan for these, we'll just make a new one. And there's probably troops going through here. I don't know where they're at, so we're really just making a guess. Uh, let's go here and hope that they're not there. And then... Uh, I think that yeah is in that air zone, so we control that, so we can go ahead and execute it immediately. It's really hard to tell which ones these are, this one here. Might not have the 70%, it looks like. Just short of it, 606 .6. Okay, then what we'll do, since uh, we're now trying to drop somewhere else, is we'll just take some of the fighters that we have here, and then have them, uh, well, that's not them. Here we go, this guy here. Uh, take him and have him come over here. And that might be enough to get us into uh, the 70% zone. Maybe not. Looks like they put more planes there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Alright, is what it is, guys. Push him forward here. And, uh, yeah, the Italians just can't can't stop us, man. Uh, it's just really the mountains here that's that we're having problems with. Alright. Uh, we might not get to use this paratroopers, guys. I don't think so. I think we'll have time to do it. Uh, they're still trying to attack us here. Let me see when these guys get here. If uh, they'll get there in time. Probably not. I don't think they're going to get there in time. Uh, so this attack, of course, is failing. But again, it was only to kind of help those guys out. Now that we're done on that, we're going to pull it back. Uh, just want to keep our eyes on this front. Make sure that we're not missing anything. Same here. Uh, we can actually go ahead and delete this here now. So we've got those divisions moving elsewhere. And it does seem that we did get pushed back here. All right, so that's unfortunate. Uh, let's just go ahead and have these guys. Oh, we need to actually fix the front. And they are attacking over this way, so we might end up losing that. Having some problems here, guys. All right, divisions, unfortunately. So what we might want to do is, if we have any troops that are coming from across... Nah, it looks like they're all over here already. All right, um, let me see what we can do here. You don't want to pull from there. Not enough yellow army troops covering that province for us. I was thinking we could bring one division up. But maybe not. Looks like, yeah, we have exactly two in every province right now. Okay, those eight will have to do for right now, and hopefully they can they can stop it. Uh, we're going to need to pay attention to that, though. All right, sucks we got to be distracted by other stuff while I'm trying to do this damn offensive. But it is what it is. All right, let's go and attack over here. I'm going to send one guy over that way. And one guy up here. All right, looking good. And still not able to get this done, this attack here. All right, so we have pushed forward here. Let's go ahead and go uh, this away now. Oh, I don't want to move everybody, my bad. Trying to avoid attacking across the river if we can. And uh, just trying to take this pressure off this invasion so they can't push him back into the sea. All right, so let's go and dip back over to here and see how things are going. Uh, yeah, the problem is that they got us locked down here, so we can't can't evacuate here in time. Let me see if uh, we'll beat them. It's hard to say. Yeah, it does look like we should be able to beat them even on the retreat there. All right, fantastic. Just looking at the yellow army, seeing how things are looking overall. See if there's anywhere we can push as well across here. They did put a lot more divisions over that way. Uh, and these guys are now trying to go over here. So let's just have them... Uh, I don't know if we can actually create a front here. Yeah, we could. But let's just give them a... Uh, you know, we will give them a front. Have all these guys assigned. And that way we can give them a planning bonus. All right, fantastic. And uh, they won't build across there. So it's not 
of any concern. So how did we get uh, on, on getting this done? Yeah, we still only have the one fort done just because, uh, you know, they've been attacking us the entire time. Alright, so this is offensive. It's actually going pretty damn decent, man. Uh, and we almost have them cut off here. So let's go ahead and start pushing forward over this way. We're going to bring this guy over here. And uh, this is looking decent, man. Got to get them pushed back here. Uh, so we're going to keep that going. Let's go and attack over that way now. Let's try and stop them from being able to bring troops over this way if we can. I just don't think they'll be able to beat our tanks, honestly. Alright, so these guys could be put in an army if we wanted to. We do have this division as well that could get moved, so let's go and move him. Uh, I guess we'll put him over to this one. Start building out these fronts here, guys. Since we might be pulling the Russians in against the Japanese once the Germans are defeated. We might even pull them in before the Germans are defeated. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll see how the fronts look. Alright. They keep stopping us over here. Damn, that's a, not only a, in the mountains, it's also a river penalty, so that's not great. Let's go ahead and make sure we get a little bit of support for that then. And still, no win here yet, guys. This is just a shame. You just can't get it done, man. And uh, we now entered into December of 1946. Uh, let me just go ahead and see what this is about. Alright, so looks like the uh, Spanish are getting some of their ships sunk. Spanish do control here, so getting our ships over to there is now going to require them to go like all the way around, but that's okay, because we already have ships coming down here anyway. Uh, and the British did lose four destroyers there. Okay. I don't know if we've been losing some reads, but I want to take a look at that. And, uh, yeah, we lost one there, one there, and one there. Made it look like it's a victory, but we, in fact, actually lost submarines for one convoy. That's not a victory. <laughs> Alright, so we do have more ships that can move into these, but yeah, it's not actually letting me move these uh, to the ones that are in battle anymore, which is interesting, because it was letting me move it. Okay, that, now it is. Hmm, not entirely sure why it's doing that. Why sometimes it allows me to put them in, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see if there's any uh, resources we're trading for extra, um, just with the Russians here. I really want to pull back even further, because yeah, I'm kind of worried about the, the current autonomy, just how rapidly that shit is pumping up, man. I'm trading for all those resources. Okay, so yeah, we just got to take one of these damn provinces, this one, or if we come up this way, to just stop the Germans from being able to put troops over this way. And this here is just mainly because I don't want us to be in a position here where they could easily cut us off by just taking, I mean, we had the port, but you know what I mean, they could easily win here. And then uh, our troops here are relying on a port for supply, so yeah, I don't want that. Let's go and take one of these guys, have him go across. We are having some problems getting across here now. We might have to stop this attack. Yeah, that's clearly not going to work. All right, whatever. Let's go and stop these guys. All right, so we're going to need to let our organization get up a bit. Looks like our offensive has been stymied just a bit, man. And uh, they keep on pumping the troops here. Uh, you know, by the time we get them defeated, they, they leave. But how many are we killing on this offensive? That's... That's the real question. I'm sure we're killing quite a few. And that's the only point they're willing to attack because of our high level forts here. That's it. That's the only one. And they can't win there. We actually have level two forts there now, although they're probably damaged. I would I would assume they are. All right, yeah, they're not attacking across here anymore either. We can't build that fort there, so that's a problem. We did get troops over here, so let's go and attack now. And uh, with both of these guys, grab that province back, and then we'll try and build those forts again. See if we can't uh, get control there. I'm surprised nobody's moving there. Uh, but yeah, we, we are looking great across here. Uh, they're trying to attack right there. Uh, we don't have enough uh, tanks to really cover all this, actually. And uh, yeah, we just don't control the skies here. The moment I, I try to drop paratroopers, they, <laughs> uh, they took control of the skies, so that didn't work out. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm probably losing a ton of planes across here as well. And what we can do is go ahead and take some and, and just kind of move them around a little bit. Uh, like maybe have... What are we looking at? Yeah, 600. So what we're going to want to do is maybe take uh, one of the fighters that is here. These are some old fighter ones, apparently. <laughs> Let's take these guys. Have them go over here. Oh, they were already there. Never mind. Uh, have these guys go here, and then we'll just pull one of the fighters from here uh, that isn't already in this region. And then have them help us cover right there where we're actually trying to launch. And you know what? I'm going to take these ones as well and put them over here, too. 
All right, we could also use a bit more close air support. Let me just see how we're looking. Yeah, let's go and take one of the close air support wings here and uh, assign him to the Alpine region. Looks like he didn't have an order. Okay, he was just sitting there. All right, so yeah, just they, they just cannot get the wins here. Uh, but they might actually win right there. Yeah, we're actually having some problems now. Okay, so we're gonna have to help out now. Uh, let's go and take one tank, send him over here, and take these two tanks and have him attack over this way. Again, just trying to help out. Uh, we are having some difficulties here. Let's go and move this guy over here as well. And let's see if this guy can't help out. Yeah, because they're about to win all the cross here. All right, man, it's problematic. Uh, so we're gonna have to like bring the blue army here now. Have them go here and then just move some of these guys over here. All right, so we got the hunt and destroy. Let's go ahead and get the next one, which is gonna give our close air support agility and plus 10% on the air, su air superiority. All right. And yeah, we gotta be killing a lot on the on the defenses here, man. Uh, but yeah, they did win there. Interesting. All right, so we have to keep on attacking them there then. Uh, this guy's coming over this way. These guys, yeah, they're both coming over here as well. Uh, let's go ahead and attack over here again. I'm surprised we just have had so much difficulty here, guys. I'm just trying to thicken that up a little bit. It's, you know, it is Mountain Province, guys. So I suppose it should be expected uh, for us to have so many difficulties here. All right, so these guys are gonna try, try and move. That's fine. I'll pull this attack back across here. And I suppose we'll just have to sit on the defense for now. Because, yeah, they, they have uh, stymied any of our efforts to uh, launch any further offensives. But we have Venice. Uh, we have taken control of that. That's got to be hurting the Italians quite a bit. And we are further distracting them as well. Uh, let's take a look here. Yeah, I don't think they're going to win there now. We're all in the 80s and 90s. Not even attacking across here. Let's go ahead and build that fort that I tried to build here last time. But we weren't able to get done. Take that up to the top. Uh, and we actually have a little bit of openings here. Uh, so we'll continue building the forts across here, though it might not be necessary at this point. So, but let's do it anyway. Uh, and we're, I guess we're going up to level five now. Yeah, let's go up to level five. And that's probably where we'll stop. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, just get to level five, cross this front. And then we can go in and go, just in case they push it, they're not gonna push us back here though, so I don't even know that we need to go to level four, but we will, why, why not? I know we can build other stuff, but let's do this first, and uh, then we'll go ahead and get some uh, more radar going next, and we could use more nu nuclear reactors too. Uh, so let's go and get a nuclear reactor going. I know that these take absolutely forever to build, uh, but that's okay. Uh, and as far as rad radar stations go, I mean, we have pretty good coverage most places, but we don't have any coverage here, so let's go ahead and build it right here. Or we could do still on Stalingrad. Uh, okay, we actually have one there, so let's just do it here then. Have better radar coverage there, and uh, everything else is looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and take these all down to the bottom now. Fantastic. All right, so yeah, we'll just sit on the defense here, and uh, you know, obviously in some areas we are gonna lose. Uh, let's take these guys, bring them over here. Yeah, it looks like we might end up losing that province but again we're killing a lot of Italians on these and maybe we'll get there first yeah there we go excellent so this guy's gonna try and get there too so far they have not had any success pushing us back uh, I don't like the way that one looks though not at all all right yeah there's just no other attacks going on except for that one right there they are have given up on attacking across most of this line here uh, and yeah, still red right there, and we're red right here too, which is uh, obviously really, really bad. So what we're gonna need to do is have these guys attack over here, and I'm also gonna send a mountain troop over there too, and that made a big difference. Uh, and those guys are going there. Let's go and have another division come up over here, because we are about to lose there. And then we're gonna support here. All right. And support there as well. So it might be able to finally get them pushed back. I don't know. Those look like we're losing there. Remember, these are all across rivers and in the mountains. They're just all uh, really difficult places for them to attack. Costly places, most importantly. And yeah, they are mere moments from taking that. And of course, we did win here. Oh man. Hurry up and get over there, guys. All right, so yeah, we are having some problems, guys. We got another guy there, excellent. 
Okay. How are we doing in the skies? Did that help at all? No, we just don't. We just don't have the plane numbers, man. Uh, the Germans are just, they have way too many planes available to them. All right, uh, let me just take a look at the, the troops that are training here. See if there's anything we want to do with these guys. Nah, we're going to keep them here for now. And I suppose we can take a look and see if there's any other... We got manpower now, so let's go ahead and build more units. Uh, some modern tanks here, and then build more infantry units as well. We're going to deploy these ones. And we could also, you know, stop these guys from training, but, you know, might as well wait. They're they're not going to push us forward here, guys. I thought we had these guys set to be in the training army. Apparently not. Okay. Let's go and fix that. I, I guess I never actually put them to go into the training army. I just did the, the modern tanks. So it looks like we're about to win there. Um, yeah, we just got to get there. Uh, what we should probably do is have... Okay, those guys are going that way. Let's have a light tank go over there, so maybe we'll get there quicker. Come on, guys. Come on. Get in there. All right, he's going over this way. Let's go ahead and have uh, these two attack here again. Not really to win. Mostly just to help them out here. And so far, they haven't taken any of these provinces from us. They haven't been able to take anything yet. I don't know why all these guys are attempting to leave here. Oh, just one of them is. Okay. So we just can't get them defeated because they keep on bringing divisions back before we're able to... Uh, let's go ahead and attack there. Maybe that'll fix it. Let's send these guys in as well. All right, so eventually we'll get that province. Uh, we are losing across here, though, but that's okay if we lose those. I'm fine with it. Uh, I like having this one because you got that nice river bonus there. Uh, but, yeah, it looks like we're going to lose these. Uh, we did get fuel refining. Excellent. You know, actually, let's go and pull this back a bit. And uh, that should help with the fuel uh, issues. And uh, let's go and go with fuel, fuel refining, too, if I can talk today. All right, guys, i got a couple more minutes that I can record. But, yeah, the... Uh, they have eight minutes that that took. Um, let's go and attack across here. Can we win? We cannot. All right, we'll just stop it then. Yeah, that uh, eight minutes we spent having to fix all that again. Ugh. Yeah, that took time, guys. Unfortunately. Still, invasion here is still successful. It does look like they lost a province or two, though, so that's bad. Any other invasions? Uh, it looks like we got one here in the Netherlands. Uh, I'm not seeing any other ones. Let's take a look and see what happened here. Three convoys sunk. I think we're losing... Wow, British just lost six destroyers. Uh, yeah, I think we are losing submarines all across here, though. Yeah, that isn't looking quite as nicely as it did before. Uh, so, that's unfortunate. It's going to move. Well, we can't throw on battle. All right, let's go and take a light tank and throw them over here. Uh, it does look like we're about set to lose now. Good God, man. All right, let's just pull it back then. All right, so we had it for a little while, uh, but yeah, we didn't get the win there. I'm, I'm gonna be really interested to see how the casualties end up looking after this offensive. Uh, feels like we killed a lot of Italians, so uh, feels like it should be should have pretty high casualty numbers, man. I hate that we weren't able to uh, thicken this up. We really need a win there. All right, we'll just have to wait. Okay, uh, and yeah, they can't can't win anywhere else at this point. Uh, as far as like the forts go, how high have we gotten here? We got up to level two now. Okay. And we don't control the sky, so can't drop the paratroops where where I wanted to. Fortunately, they just have too many damn planes. They just dominate in the skies. They're not attacking across here, so technically we probably could pull some of these planes back now. Um, yeah, like maybe the close air support that are here. Have them uh, pull off and help us out somewhere else. Wherever we can get them into. And what we could do is go ahead and build up the air base higher here too. And tick that all the way up to the top. So I get to working on that. So we'll have a higher level air base. And uh, just move some of these planes around, man. Let's move a uh, close air support over to here. So we have a thousand there. And uh, let me see what else we can do. It looks like we are taking losses here with our planes. This is probably good. Yeah, this is fine. That's how we'll leave it. So we're at uh, 700 something fighters and 1,000 close air support. Okay. No ace pilot promoted. And. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to end the episode, guys. Shit. All right, so that's unfortunate um, that we had to waste so much damn time uh, on the uh, fixing, fixing everything again. But now that we are not in their faction, I have no intentions on joining their faction again. We shouldn't have that issue anymore. We are losing a ton of submarines. I think uh, 
yeah, I think our us being able to do anything here is probably just about over. Uh, so let's go and put these guys in here. Just kind of like uh, combine some of these. Uh, but yeah, I think our, our time controlling the seas with our submarines is over. We sunk a lot of convoys, though. Uh, and we can't do anti-democratic raids again, so we will. Let's just take a look at where, how we're looking now. We're at 49% non-aligned. Good God, that's taken us forever. Uh, but that'll help with stability quite a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and end this by looking at the casualties, guys. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and get into 1947. That's what we'll we'll do, because that's like a couple days away. So, yeah, let's, let's get into the new year. Uh, so we'll play a couple more days, and then we'll take a look at the casualties. And I expect them to be pretty damn high. Uh, oh, damn it. <sighs> Shit. And every time they do it, it does mess this up, man. Yeah, we're having some problems here, guys. I can't seem to get the fort. You know, everybody just stop what you're doing, man. Instead, retreat. Oh, no, it's not letting me retreat. There we go. These guys here kind of start to retreat. Hopefully, we get there before them. Alright, so that was good. Bring a few divisions over here. Yeah, just having some difficulty there. We might need to send another division up there, though. I don't know that we have the numbers. Yeah, I don't know where we'd bring them from. Yeah, here, I just don't like the way this looks. What we could do, actually, is if we pulled it back like so, then that would probably give us an extra division. So this is what we'll do. We'll take one of these guys and have him move over to here. And that one more division might make the difference. All right. So yeah, other than losing that one province, though, they haven't been able to take any other ones. I think we should be able to win there again, so let's go ahead and try one more time, guys, to do this attack here. All right, so I can't actually tell if we're winning that. It's hard to say. Uh, yeah, we're currently defending here, so... Yeah, I think this attack is winning while this one's losing. That's the way it looks. I, I want to send the, the mountain troops in to help. Let's go and take these guys and have them support that. There we go. So might actually be able to get the win there now. All right, we are in January 1st. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these unread battles, and then we're going to... Uh, I lost another damn submarine. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to lose all our submarines. Could go ahead and pull them back, guys, but nah, I don't really care. What's the point of having them out? I mean, that's what submarines are for. I mean, I guess if we lose, like, the majority of them, then I'll, uh, I'll pull them all back and, and just cover certain areas. But, yeah, I'm fine if we lose, lose them. Uh, we sunk a lot of convoys with them. He uses fuel too, uh, but overall the fuel situation is much better. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at. Well, we got one more here. All right, so let's go and look at the casualties. So uh, we have now taken. Oh, we're not in this fashion. That's right. So we're going to be down here at the bottom, and we have taken 440,000 casualties, 391 uh, by the Germans, 47 and a half by the Italians. Uh, and since we left the faction, it does look like they're taking more casualties now than they were. Maybe not the UK. The US has taken a lot more. Uh, the Italians, uh, we've killed 1.2 million Italians. Uh, the UK has killed a lot recently in their offensive that they did their naval invasion. Uh, Germany has now taken 12.7 million casualties, and we did 8.5 of that. Good God, we've killed so many of them. And uh, looking at the total losses is now at 22 here, uh, almost 23, or a little over 25 here. Uh, so definitely equaling out. They still got a lot of field and manpower, though, man. Uh, I'm surprised just how much they have. Still got a lot of divisions out there. They're out of manpower. <laughs> Look at that, guys. They had two point something million manpower when we left the last episode. And uh, now they're down to like maybe 200,000. So they have finally ran out of manpower. We did it. We killed all those damn, all those Germans. I'm so shocked. The, the Italians still have a lot of manpower, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm shocked. We killed all those, uh, all those Germans uh, on these damn, uh, uh, defenses mainly. It's really just the defenses that have costed them so much. Oh, and we have a uh, 500 air experience. Damn, I didn't realize that. We need to go ahead and, and spend that. I was waiting to get the jet fighters, but yeah, I don't want it to just sit up there stacked up. So what we'll do is we'll probably put it into, I don't know, maybe the close air sport. Uh, yeah, we'll put it in the close air sport. We won't spend it all though. So that we'll have some for the jet fighters when we get those in 41 days. So we'll do that in the beginning of the next episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Do hope to see you on the next one. And thanks for watching, guys.